one pink wheel here we're going to do a coolant drain and fill not a flush a drain and fill on a 2013 honda fit there's actually two drain plugs on this there's the main one off of the radiator and then there's another one that's much more difficult to get to on the back of the engine block i'm going to try to get to it hopefully we'll be able to get that but consensus seems to be that there's not much coolant in that engine block after you drain the radiator anyways but to do the the engine block i took the the right front wheel off so before you jack it up put it on jack stands uh take that wheel off it'll be a little bit easier to get to might be able to get to it without it but it's going to be definitely easier to get especially the the cover off Okay, so this is what we mean by difficult to get to. Underneath the car, here's the pulleys right here by the right front wheel. And then up here, we've got this little bar thing. And then right over back here, right here where I put my socket, right there. 19 millimeter uh, a bolt. That's the one we got to get off. So what we're doing is we're running the engine and we got to get the air out of the system and very carefully if you want to reach down here I don't have the uh, expansion screw then so I can reach easier don't touch here because if that fan turns on it will spread you pretty hard and you want to squeeze this this is going to burp some of the air out And then once it gets hot, you want to turn the heat on also to get everything circulating around. Okay, so this should be a little safer. I'm going to reach in with a, a pipe wrench and squeeze the, that bottom radiator tube, radiator hose. If you don't have one of these, that's okay. You just watch the level in here, and as it, as when you don't see any, you add more coolant. This generally takes a long time to, to heat everything up. 